good morning, Harrison. We're so excited to be here at Need More Sweets and Treats Bakery um, on Main Street with Ashley and Austin White, who have opened this business. I'm Trish Valines with the Boone County Special Services. We have an adult center and a child care center, and we're happy that we've had our dignitaries and our ambassadors and our board members come out today, but let's get to the most important part, which is learning from Ashley and Austin why they wanted to open this business. So tell us a little bit about how you got here. Um, so we started in 2014. I started in Columbia, Missouri out of my house. Um, and uh, Austin always, you know, kept telling me, kept telling me, keep doing, keep practicing, keep going. And then um, about a year ago, we started actually having a conversation of whether or not we really wanted to move to a commercial building. Um, and we just kind of kept letting the pieces fall where they were. and. It worked out just perfectly, so that's wow. how we're here. <laughs> that is awesome. And so tell us about what you all you offer. It's, it is Need More Sweets and Treats, but there's a lot of other good stuff in there. Yeah, so um, we do all kinds of custom cakes. We can do anything from simple candies all the way up to your extravagant wedding cakes. Um, we also offer specialty coffees. Um, we do lunch and breakfast. Um, we all offer bagels, uh, the, the New York-style bagels, so they're boiled to bake. Um, and they, uh, bagel sandwiches is what we serve them on. So um, you can get breakfast with sausage, ham, bacon, and we'll feed you any time of day. Um, we're open from 6.30 to 3, so come on by and see us. All right. And I've had a few of their treats, and they certainly are good. Um, with that, I guess we'll turn it over to our board chair, chamber board chair, Tara Wilmot. Awesome. So good to be here this morning with you guys, Austin and Ashley, here at this wonderful new bakery. We're very excited to have you here in Harrison, and on behalf of the chamber and our community, welcome. We're very excited. I'm excited to taste some stuff today. Jerry, would you like to? Yeah, thank you, Tara, and again, welcome uh, again. I know everybody's welcoming you this morning, but uh, we really do mean it. Uh, something I want to share, I was glad to see the people in back from the CVB, because they kind of know what I'm talking about, and that is the amount of restaurant business we do in Harrison. Uh, we do over $60 million a year, and if you compare that to other towns, it's it's much higher for a town our size. So what that means is if you got good food, you've got buyers, and I, and I believe you got good food. So the opportunity is there, and I think you're going to do great. So again, thank you for uh, opening this great business. Well, I'll tell you what, Ashley, you're in charge. Austin is just there to make you look good, right? <laughs> I would just encourage everybody to come out. We actually had some ambassadors that came out for breakfast this morning before we started. So on behalf of the entire Harrison community, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce, the business community, welcome to Harrison. Need more sweets and treats, bakery and cafe. So let's make it official and on three, two, one, cut that ribbon. All right. Hey, hey, hey. You're next. Yeah, you did a That's great right. job. All right. Now. Miss out on local high school sports and Arkansas Razorback sports coverage. Call today to start your subscription, which includes the use of an iPad to read our digital replica edition. 